Hi friends, today I'm going to be listening to Echoes of Silence by The Weeknd. We've made it to the final part of Trilogy. I won't make this intro very long, but I will say before we get into it, because again, I know I'm going to get comments about it, I'll be doing Till Dawn, Valerie, and 28 in a separate video. And with that out of the way, let's just get into it. I have my lyrics right here, and uh, let's start off with Dee Dee. You never make me stay, so take your head off of me. I know your every move, so won't you please let me be? I've been here times before, but I was too blind to see that you seduce every man. This time you won't seduce me. She's saying that's okay. Hey, baby, do could you please? I am the stuff that you own. They say there's no turning back. She took me with her. The drums. Okay, hold on. First of all, really ballsy move to do a Michael Jackson cover. Um, I've never considered this to be one of my favorites of Michael's, but hearing it now, I think I forgot how good this song is. I don't necessarily feel comfortable comparing the two versions too much. I don't think I'm necessarily qualified because I haven't heard the original in a while, but I do like how he added that really heavy percussion. I think it adds a lot of edge to the song that wasn't necessarily there in Michael's version. Also, another interesting difference I just noticed, and I hope I'm right about this, in this version it sounds like the sound of a woman crying, like before the third verse and in the beginning of the song, whereas in the original I think it's Michael that sounds like he's crying, so that's an interesting way to flip it. Yeah, I know that this is not something I'm supposed to say about a Michael Jackson cover, but I feel like this goes so much harder than the original. I'm sorry. Goddamn. Alright. Um, what a way to start things off. <laughs> Putting aside how amazing of a song that is, though, I'm not really sure how to interpret it right now. It's a really interesting choice to use as an opener here. Obviously, in House of Balloons and Thursday, he was the one that had all the control in his relationships, whereas in this song, she's the dominant one that has all the control. I don't know if that'll continue throughout the rest of these songs, but it's a pretty glaring difference in the first track already. It's also funny listening to this in 2023 because obviously, The Weeknd gets compared to Michael Jackson a lot. I have been hearing that ever since Can't Feel My Face came out, but I don't know if that was as common of a comparison back then before he got really into making synth pop. And also, as much as I see the similarity and I get it, I feel like this just highlighted for me how different they are. You can hear the subtle differences in how they sing and how they both took the song in pretty different directions. Next up is Montreal. Before we get into this, I'm already very familiar with this song. It used to be in our playlist at my old job, so I heard it basically every day. Um, it's probably the song by the weekend that I've heard the most in my life, oddly enough. But it has been a couple of years and I did like it, so let's give it a re-listen. Your time and thought of what to say to me. 
despite having heard this song many times before, it's a very different experience listening to it on headphones as opposed to on a speaker. I never really noticed the hazy kind of dreamy atmosphere with the vocal layers panning around your head. So I am still getting something new out of re-listening to this, although I feel like I could recite every word still. <laughs> this is absolutely not the song's fault at all. I think it's great, but this is kind of reminding me of when you hear your alarm clock sound in the middle of the day and it like activates your fight or flight response, because this reminds me of a job I absolutely hated, so I'm like a little bit on edge right now. Probably get ahead. It is a really amazing song, though. Oh, man. I'm looking at the line, you should have took your time and thought of what to say to me because I'm not as hard as I make it seem to be. So it seems like in the first two tracks, the tables have kind of been turned and he's the one getting hurt by these women instead of him hurting them. Apparently the Les Tomélie Filles part is a sample from a France Gaulle song, which I did not know. Um, despite growing up speaking French, my knowledge of French music is pretty pathetic, so I feel like I let my people down on that one. I'm sorry. Next up is Outside. I'll let you show me his moves Let you do what he taught you Let you reminisce how you used to do Since all, baby, I will stay up all night And I've been going hard since last night And I'm a go Wish you could see you through my eyes Oh, I'm telling you this ain't the same And I know he's still in your brain There's something about this instrumental that feels really icy and hollow. I think it's the hit of the xylophone or whatever that instrument is. I like what it adds to the vibe of the sound because it kind of helps drive home the fact that there's no real emotion between these two people. I feel like the sound of it really matches the theme of the song. Baby, when I'm done with you, what? You ain't saying nothing. Yeah, you ain't saying nothing. Oh, baby, when I'm done with you, what? You ain't saying nothing. Yeah, you ain't saying nothing. You gonna make it show off. All the pain that you feel, you can tell that we ain't making no love. His voice sounds a lot more emotional here than it did in the previous mixtapes. I feel like in House of Balloons and Thursday, he could sound kind of numb, whereas here he sounds openly emotional. If you pretend, then girl, I pretend. Let's make it seem like we're all we need in the end. Whoa. As much as I love filming these videos and I love hearing your guys' thoughts on the music, I feel like sometimes his music is hard to react to because I kind of just want to like close my eyes and get lost in it, but I can't. I feel like sometimes when I re-listen to it after the video is done, I get a lot more out of it because it's the kind of thing that you just want to let yourself be absorbed by. So the lyrics are more focused on this girl and how she's missing her ex-boyfriend, but there are little glimpses that show that he's also pretty depressed. We are, however, back to his overly confident character. It seems like he's back in control with this new girl and he's covering up his emotions with the new hookup. He knows that she's thinking about her ex, but he's trying to convince himself that she's not. 
It seems like maybe the girl in Montreal broke his heart and now he's back to his old ways. So now we're on to EXO, the host. Um, I've been hearing a lot about the next two songs, okay? So I'm aware that the host transitions into initiation. I might quickly pause in between, but I'm gonna try to let it flow as much as I can. I've been getting so many comments about these two songs, so I know it's gonna take a dark turn. I don't know exactly what happens, but I'm, I'm prepared for something. So, <laughs> subject matter aside, there's something really unsettling about the way that this sounds, the way that the instrumental is kind of glitching. It makes it really unnerving. A lot of his music has this tense atmosphere where it feels suspenseful, like you're waiting for something bad to happen, but this instrumental is straight up intense. It's like I'm not waiting for the bad thing to happen anymore. The bad thing is now happening. I don't even know what to say right now. I feel like my brain is melting right now and I don't even know what to comment on. There's like so much I want to say that I can't say anything. doing now that sent this so creepy <laughs> Too much this is definitely achieving what it's trying to do it's making me very uncomfortable <laughs>
Okay, that definitely transitions right into initiation. I am acknowledging that there's a transition. Um, I will quickly say before I hit play, these lyrics are definitely the darkest on Trilogy so far. He knows that this girl is at her absolute lowest and he knows that she needs him, so he's going to use that to his advantage. Let's get on to Initiation. Um, after what I just heard, I don't think I like that title. <laughs> oh yeah. Got you drinking out them white pops, sodas, all this shit so foreign to you, thick smoke, choke it, baby get familiar with the order, just so the bad thing it, is then happening. pour it, Got then it. slow, then tip low, my eyes red, but my pin low, with that axe so she climbing, straight to the top, forgetting why she there in the first place, no more crying, days and naps that pass around, you don't gotta wait in line, and the clocks don't work, you don't gotta check the time, and the blinds don't work, you don't gotta check the sky, we don't Hold on. <laughs> I think I need a second to get it together. Um, I get comments sometimes about how my videos are like really calm and low key, but I feel like this song is about to turn me into one of those reaction channels that screams and jumps around the room, so I feel like I just need to like compose myself. I, f I feel like I don't know what to say. Um, let me try, okay, let me try to talk about this. So the claustrophobic feeling of House of Balloons is back for sure. Um, it feels like really tight and like, I don't know, like subject matter aside, the, the sound of this one is really anxiety inducing. The way that the vocal effect is shifting around unpredictably and the way the instrumental kind of revs up and then falls back down is definitely contributing to that. And then there's the subject matter, which, um, I feel like I don't need to analyze. I feel like if you're watching this video, you've heard this, you know what this is about. Let's continue. For another round, don't you blame it on me when you're grinding up your teeth and it's fucking hard to say. I can't you. You said you want my heart. Well, baby, you can have it all. There's just something that I need from you is to meet my bones. I got a lot of boys And we can make you right How to let go, I can teach you how Take a part for this motherfucker, we for now Gonna shout out his heart, yeah, keys you out Just one night, trying to fucking leave you out, baby I love how the weird vocal effects make you feel like you're in the position of the girl who's high out of her mind. It's like bringing the listener into the music on a whole other level. It also makes the music sound so much less human. It feels even more callous because it doesn't sound like it's coming from a real person. Um, this song is pure evil. <laughs> we can make you right. And if you get too high, baby, come on. I feel like I don't know what to say. <laughs> this feels like the kind of song that I should be able to go on and on about, but I have nothing. Um, I feel like that just broke my brain. I feel like my ears were just assaulted. Um, that's my review. I feel like my ears were just assaulted. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out of the video, obviously, but I've just been sitting here in silence for a couple of minutes. Let's move on to same old song. I don't know how you follow that up, but... <laughs> Let's see. Where were you when I needed you eight months ago? All your girlfriends talking about me. Now you're ringing up my phone. I bet you miss me now, I bet you kiss me now. You're the same 
Okay. Sing. I love how they didn't cut out the deep breath. I also noticed that on outside, I think it was. Um, it makes the song feel a lot more real and human. I swear I loved you, girl. What I'm about to say doesn't apply to initiation at all, that's excluded, but I know I mentioned in my video on Thursday that the atmosphere felt a lot more expansive than on House of Balloons, and I feel like that's also the case here. I feel like as Trilogy goes on, the sound becomes more and more spacious, but it also becomes sadder and sadder, and I feel like it's also getting darker and darker. <laughs> House of Balloons felt really numb, and so did Thursday to a certain extent, but this one feels a lot more openly emotional. Like I'm getting hiccups. Great timing. Listen to that shit, man. The weekend music make ladies' panties get wet. Jam that shit, my nigga. I'm high as a motherfucker. I don't give a shit. I'm going to the strip club. I'm throwing thirty thousand dollars, nigga. Thirty thousand. Fuck okay. that shit. Thank you. Spin cool. that shit, nigga. I think that this one relates a little bit to Dirty Diana lyrically. Um, Dirty Diana is about a fan trying to get with them, whereas this one is about an ex trying to get back with him after his success. There's like these little moments of him acknowledging how his music career is affecting his love life. I will say that this is probably my least favorite track so far. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a good song. Um, I think it mostly has to do with its spot in the track list. It's really hard to follow up EXO the Host and Initiation, and I know this song isn't happy by any means, but I feel like no matter what you put after initiation, it's going to sound like it has the edge of a nursery rhyme in comparison. So it's not so much the song's fault, it's just what it comes after, but it might grow on me. We'll see. Next up is The Fall. You've been picking my voice a dance to Say my money no good in here even though I didn't ask you It's so funny to hear him say how his peak is yet to come because he was very much right about that. At the same time though, it's about how reckless he is with his money and his drug use. Um, he knows that he could lose it all at any moment, but he's not afraid because he's hit rock bottom before and he knows he can get through it. There's something so dark about hearing a 21 year old say that. Like, obviously he had been through a lot. Um, 
I don't know. There's just there's just something so depressing about hearing a 21 year old say they've hit rock bottom. Like I know I probably thought that when I was 21 because I was over dramatic, but I don't know, man. But I've been good since Thursday. Yes, I've been good since Thursday. So you can watch my love vanish and I'll go with no time But to make me love vanish, call a friend from my friend And my friend's name's Alexis I let my niggas test it Her morals with the scent I must believe I already spent it My phone full of PC, my car full of taxes Thrown on that OVO check, yeah I said it I was feel so good, yeah, yeah. I feel like that chorus almost sounds like it could have been from a big pop hit. Something I've realized while listening to his discography is that his switch to synth pop isn't quite as drastic as I thought it was. Like when I first started making these videos, I went from Dawn FM to Kissland, which is definitely drastic. I was like, what happened here? But I feel like it makes sense to me how he went from this to Kissland, and it makes sense how he went from Kissland to Beauty Behind the Madness. I feel like his evolution makes a lot more sense to me now, having listened to his whole discography. Go figure. <laughs> you actually listen to someone's music and you understand more about their music. Let's get into next. She She put in work. She wanna give me all her money. She used to spend it all alone. Cause her man went did her wrong. So she This beat feels know, really yes, trip hoppy. Yes, I know, yes, I know, yes, I know. I'm too far in this game to let go, so let go. Another thing that I've noticed so far in Echoes of Silence is that his voice feels a lot more front and center or like spotlit. I feel like while I'm listening to Trilogy, I'm kind of listening to him in real time gain confidence in his ability. There's a lot less vocal effects in this one other than like initiation and he's a lot less buried in the mix. I don't know, I just feel like he's more confident now. I'm too far in this game to let go, so let go, so let go. Baby, who you trying to fool? Girl, I might be 21, but I got memories to prove that I've seen you come before, and I know exactly what you want. Also really pretty. This is a really cool instrumental. Okay, 
Okay, so this one is also about how girls want to be with him now because of his fame and his money. It almost kind of feels like this track list is divided into two different narratives. It feels like from Dee Dee to Initiation there might be a consistent narrative. In Dirty Diana, a fan tries to ruin his relationship because she wants to be with him. In Montreal, he loses his girlfriend because of that incident, and then from outside to initiation, he's kind of back to his old ways because he got his heart broken. And then from same old song until now, it seems like it's about how girls treat him differently now that he is fame and money and clout to give. As much as the first half of the tracklist is darker on the surface level, I feel like these past few songs have been haunting in a whole different way. It's like him realizing that these people don't actually like him for him and that he feels like he'll only ever have a transactional relationship. It's depressing but in a way more subtle way. All right, let's get into the last track which is Echoes of Silence. Talk to me, baby Tell me what you're feeling You say you don't want me to go Don't you pretend you didn't know How all of this would end up Girl, I saw it in your eyes And maybe I can read your mind Cause you thought that more to us but you knew how this would end it's gonna end how you expected girl you're such a mess a kiss and a yes why instrumentally this is probably the most minimalistic song on all of trilogy it's just pianos some strings and obviously some reverb you don't go home Baby, please Would you end your night with me? Don't you leave my little life Don't you leave my little This is kind of the perfect way to finish off the themes of Trilogy. He's saying that these girls knew about his reputation and knew that he would end up hurting them and manipulating them and yet they still pursued a relationship with him. It's almost like these girls are addicted to him the same way that he's addicted to the drugs he sings about. They know that he's bad for them yet they still keep coming back to him. It's also kind of an acknowledgement that the cycle is going to continue and that neither of them are going to change their behavior. It's pretty fucking depressing, actually. I wasn't exactly expecting a happy ending, but yeah, what an ending. What an adventure we've been on. <laughs> okay, before we continue, favorite tracks are Exo the Host, Initiation, and um, I, I want to say, I want to say like half the track list. I want to say it's either DD, The Outside, or Echoes of Silence. I know that people love to debate about their trilogy rankings, so as of right now, I'll say mine is House of Balloons, number one, Echoes of Silence, number two, and Thursday, number three, although obviously it's hard to say for sure on first listen. I feel like I should have a lot of thoughts, but my brain is kind of melted at this point. I feel emotionally exhausted right now. I'm trying to imagine how much of an emotional roller coaster it would be to listen to Trilogy in its entirety in one sitting. I feel like I'd be like dead on the floor right now. So I will be back to do 28 Valerie and Till Dawn, Here Comes the Sun. And then after that, I will do Starboy and then After Hours. Um, and then I'm definitely open to doing music videos, other sort of unrelated tracks. I've been getting a lot of suggestions for videos I should do, so it seems like there's no shortage of the weekend content to be made. So it seems like I'll be at this for a while longer. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what your thoughts on Echoes of Silence are. Let me know what your thoughts on Trilogy are, what your favorite tracks are, what your least favorite tracks are. As always, social media linked below. I have lots of videos on the weekend at this point if you're interested in checking them out. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.